Hey guys, it's JD from Eastwood. In this video, we are going to be going over the middle grounder in the lineup of Eastwood shot presses, and that is this one right here, the Eastwood 12-ton shot press. Now, this is going to sit between the larger 20-ton press and the smaller 10-ton bench top press that we offer. This is still going to be a reasonable unit for a home garage, but still more than capable of working with larger pieces, stamping, pressing, bending, and of course, all the bearing work that you need to do. This is made from heavy duty, high grade steel in an H frame construction. That's gonna minimize any flex and it's going to make sure this press stays strong and accurate under load. All of the Eastwood shot presses meet 2014 ASME PASE standards, which simply put means that these are tested to 150% of their maximum load. So 18 tons for this press. And at that pressure, we saw no deflection or weld failure. Also, all the internals and sealed surfaces are highly polished. That makes it easier on the seals, so you know this is going to last a very long time functionally, and Eastwood backs this press with a one-year warranty. Speaking about the design, this style of press does have more adjustability than other bottle jack style presses. First off, the bed, of course, just like any press, that slides up and down. Just simply pull out the pin, slide the bed around, and lock it back into place. Very simple. This being a standing press, you do get a little bit more adjustability than our 10 ton bench top shop press. This has eight different levels to choose from for the bed and they're spaced about four and a half inches apart. But also importantly, the ram itself also slides left to right, allowing you to press off center from the frame if you do need to. That easily secures by tightening up those couple of bolts at the top and you're all set. That's a huge advantage that you get when you go with a ram style press like this one right here. You get that left to right adjustability, which is something that you usually don't get with the bottle jack style press. Also, another huge advantage is that the throw with a ram style press is usually longer than a bottle jack style press. This one is 7.1 inches. And also, you don't have that bar across with the springs to pull it back up, which usually gets in your way when you're working with awkward shapes in a press. Uh, overall, I think the Ram style press is just a little bit better of a design than the Bottle Jack. This press is great for all of the projects that you could think of. Being the middle grounder, it really does hit that sweet spot where you can do all the pressing, stamping, bending, all the work you need to do, this is capable of. It also works great for the dimple die set that we offer. And if you're doing any metal fab work, the dimple dies are a great way to shed weight and add rigidity at the same time. And also, I think it gives a cool sort of World War II bomber seat style look to any project. This will also work with our press brake attachment, which is a great way to make 90 degree bends, even in thicker pieces of metal. If you don't have a brake, you don't want to spend the money or you don't have the room in your shop, that's a great alternative if you have a press like this one. The lever pump handle is nice and long, gives you all the leverage you need, and it does pop out of the press for easy storage. This machine also has the option for a foot pedal. That's a nice touch, allows you to position whatever it is you're working on, get it in place with both hands, get a little bit of pressure on it, and then you can stand off to the side where you're really pumping down on this machine, get a lot of pressure onto that. And while you're off to the side pumping on the lever handle, you're out of the way. And just in case anything shoots out of this press, you're behind the frame and not directly in front of it, which that is good thinking to have the option of both of those. The gauge at the top is also very nice. It's liquid dampened, so it's easy to get an accurate reading. It's also about four and a quarter inches across, so a big wide dial that's easy to read, and it has scales for both metric and US tons. Operation is really simple. This is the release valve right here. All you have to do is pump this up, align your piece with the two included bed plates, and apply pressure with either the handle or the foot pedal. Press the button to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're giving away a MIG 180 welder at 500,000 subscribers. Also, make sure you check out our channel as well. We post tons of great how-to content you're definitely going to want to see, and we'll have the shop presses link below. As always, thanks for watching. I'm JD. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.